Welcome to the A to Z of golf. I'm Simon Dyson. We've come up with 26 videos for your golf. Let's jump into the first one. Right, today we're on D. So D stands for divot, hitting out of a divot. Every golfer's nightmare. They hit a perfect drive down the middle, they look at the lie and they're in an old divot and they think they're the unluckiest golfer in the world. And don't get me wrong, it is unlucky to find a divot. It happened to me in the 2005 Volvo Masters on the 18th of the 72nd hole. I've hit a perfect tee shot, get down there, I need par to win the tournament and I'm in the deepest divot. So I'm going to talk to you about what I learned from that one shot. So basically, when you're hitting out of a divot, what you need to do is you need to come a little bit steeper on it. So you're going to get the ball first. It's too many golfers try and nip it out of it. So they'll catch it a little bit before and not get the strike and come up short. The other thing is when you're hitting out of a divot, you're always going to catch the leading edge of the divot. So always club up. I'm trying to hit a ball 140 yards here. So that's a normal pitching wedge for me but I'm gonna go with the nine iron because I know it's gonna catch that leading edge and just take a little bit of the momentum off. So as I said, what you wanna do is you wanna feel like you're coming in a little bit steeper so you're getting all the ball first, almost like if you're hitting out of a fairway bunker. So we're gonna stand up to it as normal, swing as normal and just hit down on it a little bit more. So you saw I took a really nice big divot there because I really hit down on it. I've got the perfect flight and it's gone a really good distance. So just the two things to remember, club up and hit more down on it and make sure you get that ball first. <laughs> 